Welcome to this video review about a Steiner Ranger 228 by 42 rifle scope. As you probably know, Steiner is really famous for their binoculars production. They are the biggest producer of binoculars in Europe at the moment, or at least in Germany, but I'm quite sure that also in Europe. And they, the company was founded already in the 50s in, uh, in Germany and started to produce binoculars for the military quite fast. Uh, in the 90s they also tried with, uh, with rifle scopes and then they continued also with binoculars. And then after 2015, 2014, 2015, they decided to enter the rifle scope territory once more. Uh, their first series was Night Hunter and uh, their move was really strange because they, they produced uh, German-made rifle scopes in the premium class from the start. So without any, I would say, previous um, heritage from this field or anything else, they just entered the premium class with, with 2,500 euros uh, worth binoculars, uh, worth rifle scopes, the Night Hunters. And unfortunately, they didn't succeed that well with the Night Hunter. Uh, I'm, sh I'm quite sure that the, the scope itself was quite well made. It was made in Germany, the warranty was 30 years, everything was there. But uh, I think that um, the move to enter the premium class from the start was too bold. I think nobody, if you want to sell a rifle scope for 2,500 or, or more in Europe, you need a lot of experience, you need heritage, you need brand awareness in that sector and so on. So in 2017 they came out with the Ranger and I think this was a much smarter move since they decided to, to do a really uh, a scope which is tailored for European hunters in a class of 1000 euros. So I would say a medium class or even an entry level class for the European optics and they succeeded really well. So the, the Rangers are sold in big numbers, uh, they're well known in, um, in hunting communities in the last three years they really um, they, they made their pet that even in the future if they produce Night Hunter again it will be much more successful because so many more hunters now know them as a, also as a rifle scope producer not only a binoculars producer. So when they introduced in 2017 at EVA the Ranger series it was really interesting because all the scopes was were ranked between 900 and 1200 euros in this in this segment and they came out with four models so they came out with one to four wide angle scope this one two to eight by 42 uh, stocking scope then they came out with a three to 12 by 56 and four to 16 by 56 so four models uh, they were missing the 50 millimeter objective lens which was introduced later uh, as you can see the design is really modern is really Steiner distinctive even if there will be no Steiner written on the rifle scope you would know it's Steiner from this magnification ring which is really designed in, in their um, like many other products also the turrets and so on you, you see immediately that it, it is Steiner um, so really modern design uh, and normally fully waterproofed uh, rated for all the calibers you're able to use this scope on 300 Win Mag, 9.3 by 62 or 64 on any caliber, filled with nitrogen, and the scopes work all the way from minus 25 to a plus 65. At least this is what the Steiner guarantees. I'm quite sure that even at minus 30, the scope will still work. What you can see is that this scope is really, really compact. So it's roughly less than 30 centimeters long, 29 or something like that really really compact um, 30 millimeter tube standard low capped hunting turrets rubber on the magnification ring and the magnification ring really works nice uh, the force applied is the same all the way let's say somewhere here then the last step towards uh, two times magnification it's a little bit harder it, ha it features a fast focus for the diopter setting and it's designed with typical European hunter in mind. So it's really tailor-made for, for, for all the needs that hunters have. 
Uh, as you can see, all of the scopes in this uh, series are, have illuminated reticles, so the illumination control is on the uh, left side turret. Uh, and the battery inside is CR2032, the standard battery. Uh, in the box, you get the reticle information, the reticle menu, uh, manual, and then normally the general scope manual in German, in English, with all the specifications also given, so that you can see everything what is really important, and in a couple of different languages. Uh, there is also written how to zero the scope, how to, um, to adjust the turrets and so on. It's a, it's a nice manual and you get a nice sticker also from Steiner. So basically, all in all, not much is in the, in the box. You also get the classical bikini scope covers, which, is, which are not in this video, I apologize, but normal bikini cover on the front and the rear with two strings attaching both sides. Uh, the weight of the scope is a little bit less than uh, 600 grams, 585 grams to be exact, and the warranty is uh, 10 years. If you look at it's nice, it's modern, and it's really compact. If you go to the reticle, there is only one single reticle choice, so the 4A illuminated, uh, classical hunting um, uh, reticle, even though if you look at the picture closely, the picture is not really what you exactly get in a, in a scope. Uh, you can see it here, probably. No, it's. I, I would suggest that you check our videos with the uh, reticle subtensions. Well, um, the dot is much finer than in this in this image. So the reticle that you get in a scope is actually better than this one on the on the on the. Um, reticle manual. It's really really tiny and uh, fine. It's really thin and fine and uh, it only features illuminated, small illuminated dot in the center and the dot is really doesn't cover much of, um, of, uh, of the target so it can be used for really precise shooting. So it roughly in this particular scope it covers roughly two centimeters. On, on highest magnification. So it's really, really fine and can be used precisely. Um, it is daytime bright. So when you put the illumination on 11, you see all the way from, from six onwards, it's daytime bright. And then scope like this for stalking, and this one is quite, it has a wide angle. This is really nice. What you also see is that there is a zero setting at the end and the zero setting at the beginning. And there are zero settings all, all the way between all intensity levels. Uh, 11 intensity levels is enough, so you can precisely fine tune the dot illumination so that you're ready for any kind of uh, ambient light conditions. The turrets, they're capped. Classical hunting turrets, low profile, one centimeter click, typically European, and 80 clicks in one revolution. So, clockwise turrets, again, very European. Like I said, this scope was tailored for European market. Uh, in essence, this turret can be reset, I don't think if it makes sense, because it's a hunting scope and you probably hear that the clicks are really nicely audible, even though for a hunting scope you just zero it once and that's it. So the the touch and feel and the audible of the turrets, how audible, audible the turrets are, it's not really that important, but it's nice if, if they're well made and in this instance they are well made at least for this price range, and I, I think that even some scopes in a higher price, uh, price ranges feature turrets which are not as good as those, uh, this one. Uh, the total elevation in this uh, scope is 12.5 uh, 12, 12 uh, um, MRATs, so milliradians, that means roughly 125 centimeters of elevation and 125 centimeters of uh, windage range on 100 meters. More than enough for a hunting scope. It's not a long range tactical scope, so you will be able to zero it without a problem. Uh, the 
turrets are double turned, we could say, because then you ran out of elevation because you have roughly eight, um, eight uh, mils of, or eight milliradians of travel in one turn. Um, if I proceed to optical performance, so the magnification range is all the way from two to eight by 42. Uh, 42 millimeter objective lens. What is special is that with majority of European scopes with a 42 millimeter objective lens, the external diameter is 48 millimeters. Not here, here it's uh, almost 50. So that's a little bit um, uh, unusual, but uh, it's only important if you use the night vision clip on or thermal clip on something, something similar, not that important and you can get uh, the adapters for this dimension, so it's not a problem. Uh, this scope features four times zoom. Uh, it also has 18.3 meters of field of view at 100 meters. That's quite decent for two times magnification. And in general, you are able to see wide field of view every time when you look through the scope. Uh, it has no tunnel effect whatsoever, so the scope is really modern because, let's be honest, 10 years ago, Scope like, scopes like this, they were more popular at that time, 1.5 to 6 by 42. A lot of those scopes featured, um, unfortunately, featured uh, tunnel effect at lower magnifications. Steiner Ranger has no tunnel effect, so it's a really, um, it offers nice optical performance in this regard. So the eye relief is approximately 90 millimeters, standard, and the eye box is quite good. When you try it, especially with the competition, the eye box is, is really, uh, really good compared to some other scopes in this class. Okay, if we come to the summary, I mentioned probably a couple of times that this scope is tailored for the European hunters, but it's not made in Europe. It's made in the US because Ranger is a part of the, um, the whole Beretta group. And they, in, in the whole group, you have many different factories and, and many different companies. Uh, the Steiner itself produces majority of all of their binoculars and all of their tactical scopes made for the military in Europe, while these scopes are, are made in their facility in the US. All in all, the quality is the same like they would be made in Germany, at least in my opinion. Uh, this model in particular, it's really compact. Now, in today's time, when majority of people buy scopes with 56 millimeter objective uh, lens and, and um, high magnification ranges and so on, this one is really refreshing because it's so compact, it's so light, it is so small. And still optically, it performs really, really well, especially considering the price range of 1000 euros. So this is the first thing. The second thing is the illumination system. The dot is really fine and it can be precisely set to desired intensity level. So the illumination system itself and the dot uh, put in the reticle, it's even better than what you expect in a scope for 1000 euros. Good optics, good field of view, no tunneling effect. Good warranty, 10 years of warranty and the service is still done in Germany because they have the production facilities for, for majority of other scopes, they don't have big enough production facilities that they would be able to produce this high quantity of ranger scopes that are sold in the European market at least. This scope in particular, I would say it's a really great choice for stocking, for a light rifle or, or an older rifle, uh, rifles which aesthetically uh, smaller scopes look nicer on them. And there is really a lot of room on this market because there is no other competitor in the price class of 1000 euros that produces a scope with a 42 millimeter objective lens with low magnification range and wide field of view. This scope could be arguably also used on driven hunts, normally not as good as one to four, but still, and it's really good for stalking. Uh, and it has no competitors because let's be honest, size doesn't produce a scope like this. So the 42 millimeter uh, scopes are completely forgotten from size. Kalis also doesn't produce a scope with a 42 millimeter objective lens and especially not with 1000 euros price range. Then Minox doesn't produce, doesn't produce a 42 millimeter objective lens scope. Um, Noblex, okay, they probably have some, 
but still not for 1000 euros. So all in all, I would say it's probably the best scope in the series. I really like it because it offers wide field of view and this compact shape and has no European competitors. And also, if you look from the Japanese or the American competitors, they all, all feature higher magnification, even if they have 42 or 44 millimeter objective lens. Um, so they usually offer higher magnification and narrower field of view. So they are less usable for, I would say, for the way how we Europeans hunt. So all in all, if you're looking for a 42 millimeter objective scope with wide field of view, really good precise illumination dot, illuminated dot, then this Ranger is the right choice for you. Normally, there are always questions what could have been done better. This is always something what I, where is room for improvement while I leave at the end, uh, for the end of these videos. Uh, four times zoom. Uh, majority of other European scopes are already at five times zoom or even six times zoom, but normally not at 1000 euros. At 1000 euros price range, four times zoom is still acceptable. Um, hmm, what else could have been done better? It's really hard to say. If we take into consideration this 1000 euros um, price point, it's really hard that anything else would be done better. Okay, I'm, this, is, this was the summary of this review. Uh, please check our videos which we have from Steiner Ranger on our YouTube channel. And normally, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.